Welcome back everybody to another episode of the infected and in today's episode the plan is I really want to get these crafted so I do have some material to craft some windows and I'm actually going to craft our bedroom windows first and then I also have enough material to craft probably five lights I want to work on over there but the main project today is we're going to build a corral for my farm plots and I think it's going to be an octagon right in the center here want to make it pretty huge so then I can start using our watermelons to for spoilage and then just have a bunch of fruits and vegetables because why not okay see a bear hanging out it's coming over we need to get a spear all these doors Close the door. Haha, uh -huh, too slow. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bear. Too slow, too slow. Okay, let's get this meat on the drying rack and then we'll get started. Okay, for each wooden window, we need two firewood, five glass, and ten sticks. I did start crafting a bunch of glass, so we have over 60 here. Do you have a lot of sand ready for more glass? And that's a lot of material to be using for like all this rock was used for this here. And it's kind of tough to get some rocks, so I do know what to do with the extractor rocks now. I'm going to start crafting them into sand. And so we'll, we'll go do that today. We'll go to one of the extractor sites. Okay, so let's grab some glass. And of course it's winter time. I swear like we're going through six month cycles for every episode. Cause yeah, I'm spending a bunch of time crafting and making sure I'm ready for the episode or we're not gonna get anywhere in the episode as you can see. I do have our firewood, our sticks, then we got our glass. So five glass, two firewood, 10 stick. So let's just unload all our glass into our backpack. So we'll be able to build four total windows with this. Let's go ahead and go outside. It's going to be nice to finally craft some windows. We're not going to be freezing inside our house. Grab all the sticks that we can. Because that is quite a bit of sticks we're going to need. I did chop down some trees, gathered up some sticks. And I do have more sticks someplace. I thought I had them ready in here. Very nice. This is a lot of material. The five glass is a lot of material. Compared to what was it in the last version? Two firewoods. Like I think it was what, two logs or four sticks? Not very much. Now we're not gonna be freezing while we take a shower. Five glass two firewood so we need to grab another container of glass so we'll be back with the glass and I'll bring more sticks up here 
Okay, we got our next set of material. Let's put our sticks in first. That I'm hoping to finish this bedroom here, which I think we're going to be able to do. With some excess sticks. I hope we got this other bathroom window. We did not. So we're going to be five glass short. So I got to go grab that. Don't like this door turning this way. I wish it would go. But I never opened it anyway, so it doesn't matter. What did I grab? Grab the wrong thing. So this should complete the next floor, and then we'll just have one more window left. Okay, our final pieces of glass. There we go. Finally did it. Oh yeah, this is going to be something that I need to work on doing and just getting more material. Like the glass takes a while to craft. And then five each, that's quite a bit of material. Same thing with the ceiling lamps. They're quite a bit expensive and we're only going to be able to craft like a few at a time but i do have a bunch of stuff that i did work on one of these containers here we go 36 total electrical parts and then plus i did craft a little bit more because i have another box a secret box <laughs> someplace in this mess I think it might be up over there. Okay, so next we are going to work on our ceiling lights. One copper, three iron, one glass, two electrical parts. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I should have 15 irons. Let's pick up five pieces of glass. And then I need to get some electrical parts. And I'm going to do the bridge first than any others. Just because I think the bridge will look really cool with a bunch of lights going across. Here's our secret container. I'll show you a little bit later what we're going to do with that. So I think we're going to be able to craft five, correct? And then these are going every other one. part oh it's two per so i need to go get five more electrical parts yeah so many electrical parts that we're gonna need because if these are two per going all the way down i really can't wait for night to happen all empty because yeah coming down this corridor is gonna look really really cool there we go. Finally did it. <laughs> Finally got some glass and some windows and added more lights to the lanterns. Getting low on material again. I did fill these up. One coal rotation with 12 forges. I got about 58 total iron ignits and then I did run out. I had two, four, six, seven, seven, seven total full rocks. 
that I went back and forth, back and forth. And then I also crafted a bunch of copper, all the copper that we had in here, all the cobalt that we had. And yeah, so that's how I got a bunch of material. I'm thinking about like having just one episode of me just doing the rotation and actually showing you guys. But that's like so long, so boring, and there's no way I can talk the whole time. I mean, I guess I can make stuff up as I'm going, but we'll see about that. Okay, so the next thing that we do you get to work on, and trees are starting to grow. So let's chop down these trees, and then I'm actually going to turn off the foliage once when we get these trees chopped down. Because I got to see what's what. And so I did straighten out and organize everything. Not really organize, but moved everything so we can do this build. Okay, now we gotta clean up the area. Because sometimes the images don't work when we run into a rock or a stick. And I've been wanting to get rid of these for the longest time. But I've been waiting for me to be actually on video for it. So then it's not just all of a sudden disappeared. Where did it go? We don't need those saw benches, even though I have had to bake some over at across the map. I don't need them here. Because look at all this. Look at all this. More than enough planks. Not really never have more than enough base was pretty dirty there who's throwing sticks at me <laughs> okay so now what I want to do I'm gonna put a ghost image and this is just to line things up so I kind of want it straight not kind of, I really want it straight. And so I do hope like all this meets up when we go all the way around. Hey, there's the first piece. <laughs> Yet I'm hoping it lines up. Like this is where I'm gonna have problems. Problems, problems. I might have to build this like one by one. 12 logs, four copper ignits. Hey, and I actually built it right. I didn't even see, I forgot about the locks, but we have it correct. And then now it's just trying to keep it straight. I'm probably going to go two out, two out that way, and then have a diagonal 45. And then we need to go five. That might be really, really big. So what's this line of logs for? Not for the farm build over there. Tonight, I do plan on streaming the game, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it is December 11th, Friday. And the plan for tonight's stream is there's this path right here. You can see the path. And like, I kind of want to build a fence going along this path, put a building here. A little bit more of a fence, then put another building. And so we're gonna start our little town along this pathway. There's a bunch of paths in this game, like over there, right over here, that just follows around. And I kinda wanna like let the paths flow and have like the houses along the paths. Like right here, I think there is a path like this path over here. Let's go check it out. It's hard to see, but like this path right here comes along here. And then it'd be great if I can make this like a gate right here or a gateway. I know I put the gate here, but that's where like the path ends. And then I can have like a house here, build fences, a house here. And then I think this one goes this way, but that's, this is not happening tomorrow. We're going to work on the upper ridge first. So as you can see, I just got a bunch of material and still going to chop down more material. So then hopefully all we need to do is build. And then I would like to have a house over here 
to make our electrical parts and just have that house just for the electrical parts and have one just making rope, have one just making plastic. So yeah, hope to see you guys out there. Have some fun tonight. Try to start our little town build and hopefully it looks good. Like I got to put like every piece like exactly the same. Same distance or nothing's going to line up. Like I wish I could just connect it there, but I just got to like barely tap and go. But same thing with this side. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to build each one just because it's really hard to see the ghost images and it's better to just build it than go with your next, build it, go with your next. Like, do I really need it? Five. That's the question. We'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and fill up these here. And then I can actually delete our ghost images. Kind of want to keep that one up just for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine rotations. One, two, three, four. Guess you're in between four, four and five. So this would be four from perpendicular. And I just need to make it the same on the other side. Okay, fill this up. Okay, so nine, so we gotta go perpendicular. Make that right angle perfect. I feel like this is off. Let's just double check. That does look like a 90. See, it doesn't look like it's turned this way. We are really, really tired. Our energy is low. We do need to go ahead and sleep during the night because it's been a few days since the last time I slept. I've been living off of melons for energy. Hey, it's like, go ahead, work through the night. I, I'll give you more melons. Nah, let's go ahead. Go get a good night's rest because we do have another long day ahead of us. Okay, let's try to do this trick again. Yeah, right there. That tells me it's parallel. We can see it. Okay, so we're we're good. We'll see when we get to all the way around. Okay, back to it, add it. Lining that up. Build it up. One by one. The month is December, winter. So I was hoping that like, I can get all this laid out and then we can have it actually planted by the end of the episode. But I don't think I'm going to have it planted. We'll probably have all the planter boxes already. But for sure, not going to have the plants growing in them. Okay, so if I just put this in between. I think that's good enough. See what it looks like once when it's built there. But it, I think it's going to work. This one's a little bit off. But that little bit off is not that bad. Not as bad as what I thought it was going to come up to. Thought it was going to be like shh, way over. Okay, I think we need more rope. see a tiny gap but that's actually not that bad of a gap and then I think that's why this one's pushed over 
The stunt did come out really, really nice. No major gaps. Those two corners lined up really good. These two good. This one's slightly off, just a slight bit. I don't think that slight bit made that corner off. Same thing. Slight bit there. And then this one's too much this way to the left. And then this one's way inside. But that's actually not really that bad. Okay, gotta clean up a little bit and then let's move our planter boxes in here. I'm, okay, we did get all the planter boxes moved into the corral. It's looking pretty good so far. I am gonna add a storage chest rack right in the center. I do plan on having like planter boxes on the inside more, bunch of storage chests. Same thing over on that side. So I'll probably work on this side first and I only can do so much. I'm probably gonna put two storage chests. Like a lot of these, I wanna grow watermelon and then throw it into the storage chest. Why watermelon? For the spoilage and getting biofuel. That actually looks pretty good. I can't wait to get these planted. It is January winter, so we have to wait two more months. I'm not sure if I have two more months in me for tonight. As this is all I'm gonna work on for our farm corral. Let's close the gates. Okay, our next thing is I do wanna enclose this off. So we are gonna build a gate with a wall. Okay, there we go. I think that's gonna work good enough. This one's a little crooked, but it's fine. Can't go through our gate. There we go. Our final three pieces. Now that area is all cleaned up. I do like how that looks. It does look tweaked, but hey, it's fine. So as you can see, I'm starting to close off the area. And when we get that top ridge built tonight, then that's gonna close off a bunch more of this base. Cause when I build the wood log shed right here. I'll put another gate in between and then probably end up closing it off here or we'll put a gate here to follow the path along and then connect it to our fence that's gonna be up there. So I am gonna go ahead and take a nap and then we got a secret mission to go on. Okay, 5.45 in the morning. We do have a chest ready. What is this chest ready for? You guys will see in just a moment. Except for first, let's check out this bridge. That looks really good. Can we see it from the side here? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get the rest of this built. That's going to look really, really good. Okay, off to the copper extractor. Okay, back at the copper extraction site. And if you guys didn't see from yesterday's episode, we did start building our pyramid for our mineral extractor forging area. And let's go ahead and get these started so I can keep running them. So I didn't empty my backpack out because I would like to have some items over here. So I'm just gonna drop off everything. And what I was thinking about the rocks is I can actually start breaking them over, saving some space, as I don't need just regular rocks. I mean, yeah, I do, but I get enough over by our own home base to where I can craft my iron ignits from. So I'm gonna make these so we can save some space into sand. Let's get away from these extractors because it's really, really loud. It's a little bit better. Two stones, one equals 10 sand. And then this is gonna save so much more space. Half the size, right? And then I don't have to craft the stone that's by 
the base for because I think it's a waste because I'm starting to get pushed back farther and farther to get stone from the rocks I mean I don't know if rocks respawn but I think they do like I could swear that I keep taking out a couple of these rocks and they keep coming back so now that's the plan now we got an empty container drop them all in and then when needed we can craft this up hopefully in our mineral extractor forging area that's about all that i'm going to do for that so what i would like to do is stay here long enough so i can have one of these filled so we have a little bit of work that we can do oh so much better to get away from those mineral extractors what was the last thing that i was going to do what destroy this table why are we doing that for Because last episode I said we're bringing a circular saw bench over here. Eight iron ignites, two cobalts. And look, we got a bunch of material already ready. Our next circular saw, that is our second one. I do have backup oil cans. Let's leave that there for now. Add our oil cans. I do need to probably make some plank holders. Okay, so I am going to chop down a bunch of trees, get all these built up, start getting some planks for us. I don't know if I'm actually going to do the build. I kind of wanted to start on the build and at least get a couple more up, but we will see how long this takes. So yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, I got all our plank holders ready. I cut down some trees, enough to continue on with more of the build. So I'm thinking I need to have... Do I need a stairs? I know I want to have a stairs on each one. But which means I need to build this piece over, which means I need to build this piece over. So I might have to go two at a time. Okay, our next piece. And I still haven't been able to get this piece in. I don't know if it's because I have these bark chips on the ground. So I had to kind of empty out my backpack. It was the bark chips. Good, that was like making me worry like, I'm going to have a gap right on the edge of my wall. Tear it down already. So it does look like I can go two at a time. I think that'd be a lot better. I'm still not sure how this is going to work. Like, I think I'm going to... Right, so the stairs is going to come up. Coming up here. Over. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do up here. And then I'm thinking of that when we do finish, I'm probably going to tear down these stairs. Like if this were to work to be able to go straight up, I think that would be cool. But I'm not sure how it would work unless if I have the stairs go here, over, here, over, here, over. It's my guess. Oh, we would have to go this way. Right? Up. Over over yeah so i think i got to start from that side but again these stairs right now are just temporary until we get this built then i'll get the stairs done so let's go ahead finish throwing in more parts material not parts here we go i'm gonna throw in our final two ghost images i am kind of out of logs i know i can chop more down but i think this is good enough for today we did go up two more levels. Kind of figured out what we're going to do for the stair system. Again, I'm probably going to start over there with the stairs. So we can see it right here, there, and then put our next set of stairs to go up, up, next set of stairs, up, up. So I think that's going to look good. And maybe it's going to line up so then when we hit the top, we'll get the saw bench emptied. 
throw our last logs inside and then we'll head back to base. So yeah, I got some firewood for sale. If anybody wants to buy some firewood, I'll give it to you for cheap. Just get it out of here. And one thing I didn't build was our fireplace. I'm not going to build that now. We might be able to build it tonight because I do plan on coming back here again tonight. Do a little bit more work on this. Okay, let's check our extractors. We didn't get that much material. Guess I wasn't here for that long. Oh, here comes the storm. Perfect timing. Perfect. Throw this in here because we got to go. Negative 34. Okay, we'll see you back at base. Now the lights aren't too bright during the winter storm. But it looks really, really good during the night. Okay, there we go. That's our farming corral. Looks really good from the top. And I do plan on, again, building the farming plots all the way around. That's going to be worked on in time. I can't wait for the snow to stop falling so then we can plant our plants and really get to see what it looks like. And I'll probably have that for the thumbnail. As it is February, so one more day. So in that one more day, I do plan on chopping down all the trees, keep loading up this area over here, chopping down those trees, keep our planks up. Again, for tonight's stream, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I do plan on building like a fence along this road right here. We'll be able to see the road better for tonight's live stream. So I do plan on building the fence and then having a house. Another fence, have another house. And these houses aren't going to be like super humongous. They're just going to be average size, maybe two by two, two by three. Who knows? We will see what they end up looking like. So I do hope to see you guys on tonight's live stream. And with that, this will complete our episode for today. Thanks again for watching this infected episode. We will see you on the next video.